Allison Shepard here with Art Love Life. And I want to talk to you today about some problem solving when you're working in the genre of imaginative realism. So a lot of times in imaginative realism it's helpful to work out a preliminary sketch so that you solve a lot of your compositional issues because a lot of times with that genre of art you're fusing different subjects together and you're trying to, to make a situation where they all make sense within the same kind of space. So I've been working on this series about the uh, voyage of Ernest Shackleton and the crew of the SS Endurance. They got stranded down in Antarctica between 1914 and 1917. I've been working with photographs that are from the expedition. So this is actually a photograph by Frank Hurley who was the, the ship photographer. And then I've also been working with photographs from the zoo and National Geographic, um, fusing these ideas together to tell the story of what Hurley didn't capture, but what was actually happening in the space where they were staying when they left the ship. So um, I'm wanting to put an albatross here, and I wasn't sure what size to make it. And this was kind of a, a decision that came late in the development of this painting. So. What I decided to do to figure out my scale was I made these albatross paper dolls. And the first one I tried out here was too small. Um, it just didn't work out with the scale of the grass, didn't work out with the scale of the emperor penguins. Then the second one I tried was just ginormous, um, way too big, overlapping the mountains, just taking up way too much compositional real estate. And then this guy, I think, is arriving a little bit more closely at what I'm looking for, um, but what the paper doll scenario does that I think is a little bit different from Photoshop is it allows you to imagine physically the changes that you're going to make, especially if you're making changes to your composition late in, in the game, and it allows you to kind of move things around. You can use darker paper, you can color it in, um, and you can make quick decisions compositionally about where you want to place things without major commitments. It's also a little bit faster than painting it in, wiping it out, painting it in, wiping it out. Um, so I've found that the paper doll wet method really works well for me, and um, I hope that if you're working in the same genre of imaginative realism, that this little trick helps you out. Thanks.